All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. Doing another draft film breakdown brought to you by Manscaped on quarterback Tommy DeVito out of Illinois, the undrafted free agent. So, one, I only had one game of all 22 to be able to use to make a video on him. But because, you know, his path is to be a third string quarterback, you know, and maybe possibly develop into a backup, I thought it'd be cool to just go through every pass in this game, except for screens. Not going to go through those. So, just kind of. You get the feel of what Tommy DeVito is at a quarterback, and I thought he looked a lot better this past season uh, at Illinois on a more pro-style offense that wasn't asking a ton out of him, but I thought he did his job well. So let's get into it first. The draft, it came and it went, and the most exciting prospect is the prospect of being perfectly groomed head-to-toe with our friends at Manscaped. That's right, the Beard Hedger and Lawnmower 4.0 are franchise-changing combo that have you looking at your roster with pride. That lawnmower skin-safe technology reduces your nicks and snags while making all the right cuts on hair. Get 20% off and free shipping with code GIANTS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code GIANTS. Go from undrafted to a first-round pick with Manscaped. All right, let's get into it. Again, we're going chronologically through a full game of Tommy DeVito, the most Italian quarterback in the world. From Don Bosco Prep. All right, first play, first passing play of this game. Just nice drops in the bucket, and he throws with good touch. So you get the motion, and I'm, I'll try not to get too into the schematics, but you get the motion, pre-snap, you've got a man coverage. Look, he chases, right? So we got the, the one high safety, cover one coverage. Keep your eyes on him. Keep him honest. Stop him from, you know, getting a, a early break on this. And then turn your feet. Point. Good footwork. And just puts a nice ball on him. We'll see it from the other view. Again, hold that safety turn. Just puts a beautiful, beautiful ball. So first pass of the game, nice chunk play for Tommy DeVito. Next play, we got a second and nine. We got two man coverage. Cover two man. So you got three for two over here. So we're going over to this side. We turn our hips. We got the curl route. And the ball gets dropped. Puts it outside, keeping it away from this corner. Does a good job. But again, the ball just gets dropped. Like, this is good placement. You could maybe get this ball out a tick earlier. But still, like, that's on the, that's on the receiver. He put good placement on the ball. So now we got 39. Yeah, quarters coverage. Or sorry, a cover three rotation. We're running almost like a uh, a sail concept, almost like a deeper smash concept. And he's got pressure. Sees the pressure, rolls out. Now this is again some quarterbacks, great quarterbacks. Might pull the trigger right here, right? But again, we're looking at a third string quarterback in the NFL, most likely. So he tucks the ball, gets him in uh, a few yards. They got a punt. Next play, throws a back shoulder, just misses, right? We've got a free rusher. Basically, unescapable pressure unless he rolls out right. Fires it, just misses. See how the footwork? Again, when he's facing pressure, the footwork can... Now, it's not like god-awful footwork. But he like changes his arm angles and again just just flat out misses on that. But you don't see that. He's very he's like he's very accurate. So now we got a third and 14. Good job avoiding pressure. Darts it in there. We're stepping up in the pocket. 
Everything's covered. Everything's covered. So good job feeling pressure, escaping, and you see him be able to, on the run, fire the ball accurately with a good strike. See it from this angle. Step up in that pocket. This safety is coming over here, so you're not going to really throw this. Bam, fired in there. First down. First down. Big play in the red zone. Next play. We're just going to throw this fade. This is, I mean, this is a good ball placement. It ends up uh, drawing a pass interference. But see how the receiver is not able to jump for this at all because this corner is tugging him. But if he's able, if this isn't pass interference and he's able to just leap for this, this is a touchdown. This is touchdown Tommy. Pull it. Now, I don't know if he ha absolutely has to throw it like this, but he delivers it accurately. Pass interference gets you down to the one-yard line. They pound it in. I think he had two like goal line one-yard rushing touchdowns in this game. Next play, this is this is really good. I like this. Second and eight. So this is actually four verts, right? They run four verts. They get quarters coverage. One, two, three, four. So the wide receivers are taught on this. Hey, if you get quarters, you get these guys bailing, turn these outside routes into curls. So good job at uh, Tommy, one of the wide receivers, but Tommy DeVito reading this. And strike right outside the numbers, right on the sideline. Keeps it away from this player. Just a nice throw. Nice timing, nice accuracy. All around good stuff. Good footwork. Set your feet. Go. First down. So just good job reading the defense. Wide receivers reading it as well. And just putting it out there on time for Tommy DeVito. Here we're going to run play action. Going to throw another back shoulder. Like he's good. He likes throwing these back shoulders. And he's pretty active. I mean, fires him in there. And again, they drew so many pass interferences in this game. And rightfully so. But just fire it in there. Puts it on him. I mean, it still hits him in the hands despite the pass interference. But you get the creative first down. I know maybe I should have used the other view on this one. I don't have it. But that hits him on the hands. Next play. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? RPO. Bad footwork. Now, I understand the urgency to get this ball out there as quick as possible. Maybe this tight end can hold on this little block, you know, fake block and go. They set the pick up well. And you see this little weird whip it, arm angle, feet not set. And I get that. But if you're going to throw it like that, you got you to gotta hit him. And he puts it behind him. Tight end is not able to catch it. And that's that's an easy first down. That's an easy first down if he just puts that out there for him. Or at least a nice eight yards to get you a second and two at the seven yard line. And just misses it. So again, I think he's fairly accurate, but when the footwork suffers, the accuracy suffers as well. As with most quarterbacks, or all quarterbacks, but still. Next play, we're going to run a nice little whip route right here for zone coverage. We're going to motion the back out. Puts it on him. Nice completion. Good route by the receiver. Puts it out there. Good stuff. Next play. Going to run this naked boot. Touchdown. It is a touchdown, but there's not much that needs to be broken down on this. Chase Brown the back. Easy enough. Got the space, put it on him, 
touchdown fighting a line. I Brett Bielma, a former Giants outside linebacker coach. Again, we're going to see the footwork suffer a little bit on this. Right? And this, again, draws another pass interference. So that's good. But you're going to see this wide receiver with this outside release. And then, bam, back up. Good route. Right? Good route. Gets this corner's hips turned. Selling out on this. Get upfield. And if just if you turn and point your feet. And I, I get. We're trying to keep this safety honest. Right? We're trying to keep this safety honest. But if you take the extra quarter of a second... To set your feet and turn. This ball's a little more accurate. And instead it's low. We'll see it from the other angle. Draws a pass interference nonetheless. But if he just sets his feet. This could be an easy touchdown. Where the ball's thrown out here in front of him. Next play. What do we got? RPO. We're reading this safety. Make sure he doesn't slam down. Puts it on him. A little behind. But again, watch the eyes. We're reading the safety to make sure he doesn't slam down the fill. A little behind him. Nice, easy completion. Here, just making smart decisions. Right? You're, tr you're trying to get a chunk play out of this. Post wheel. We got this outside receiver running a post wheel. We're trying to get one of these. They play it well, but when you play post wheel well, post wheel well, guess what? You're going to leave this area uncovered. Feels pressure. It's not developing. Check it down. Let your back go and get seven yards. Easy enough. Going to run a front side RPO. We got zone coverage. We're reading this linebacker right here. Slant. First down. Yeah, we're reading this linebacker right here. He fills up into this gap. This linebacker is going to flow because we're going to throw it behind him anyways. Nice, easy, good stuff. And here, we're going we're gonna to connect on this back shoulder. We're not going to get past interference. We're actually just going to connect on it. Nice. We keep the safety honest, even though we don't really need to. See, see how he takes that that just that extra second or quarter of a second to turn turn your shoulders to where you're throwing. Point puts it on him. Nice velocity. Just that extra second right here. Just that extra little bounce that go from here to here. Pull the trigger. Puts it on him. Nice 20-yard play. Easy. Easy money. Fire it in there. Here we got fourth down. We're going to throw that whip route again. We got zone. Motion the back. See what we got. Honestly, bad job by the corner. Because you know you have inside presence here to not pass this off. He bites on it. Put it on him. First down. Easy enough. This next play, very easy, very simple. Play action. We're going to put this tight end on the corner. Does a good job pulling this safety in. Break out. Easy to pitch. First down. Get you down to the four-yard line. All right, this is maybe the... The play that he wants to have back from this game. Right? So we're running the fade. And you get kind of the look you want, right? But you miss. And this is second and ten. And I don't really mind throwing this. But if you're going to throw this, you got you can't miss. Because guess what? You've got man coverage underneath. You're running that whip route. And you get this guy totally selling out. We might have six if you throw this. And I get this is the timing throw. If you're going to throw this, you got to throw it. He can't wait. 
But if you read man coverage on this, you got to know that this whip is going to get open. And it does. And this corner's got his head turned. I'm telling you, this could have very easily been six points. Instead, you got third and ten at the 12-yard line. So, hey, if you're going to throw it, throw it. But you got to complete it. And he just misses it. So I like the balls in this, but you got to, if you're going to do that, you got to hit it. Next play. This is the, the following third and 10. Takes a sack on this. Fine with it. You're trying to, you're trying to hit this little stick and nod right here, right? So we're turning our eyes. We're trying to pull this safety over here. We're trying to pull them all over all towards this action. We're not throwing this unless we get man, right? You turn, it's not there. The safety didn't bite. Pump it, hold it. The only, the other alternative on this would be to like kind of see that hey, this isn't going to break open. So just throw your check down, get some as many yards as you can. Don't get your kicker in a worse situation. But I don't mind at all on a third and ten. We'll see it from the other angle. Trying to complete that first down and then just playing it smart. You could throw it right here. But I like I like the aggression to be like, hey, I want I want to create a play. And if your protection doesn't suck, Keanu Benton, you're not taking a sack either. You're able to get rid of that ball and throw it away. And then the last play we'll go to, or we'll do on this film breakdown, they're gonna run mesh. It's covered. They do a really good job covering this up. It's not there. Pump, not there. Escape the pocket. Find your receiver on the sideline. Dart it in. First down. Good ball. I mean, perfect ball placement on the run. Receiver gets, that's an NFL catch two feet down. First down for the fighting line. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just going chronologically through it. I know. Listen, we're talking about an undraft. This, I mean, this guy could come and stick up in the preseason and we never see him play. And hopefully we do never see him play. But I, I figured if the Giants got a quarterback in the UDFA class, might as well break it down. You guys got nothing better to do, right? Appreciate you guys. I'm going to try and get one out on Habakkuk Balanado out of Pitt. We got Bryce Ford Wheaton done. And then obviously all the seven draft pictures film breakdowns on. So make sure to check that out. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.